Now it's been over 30 minutes and it's getting worse. We don't know what's going on. It's like warm to the touch. I'm so concentrated right there, it hurts. Okay, I just wanted to do a quick little intro. Um, all right, so all of this started on May 10th uh, last month. So I all of a sudden got a rash out of nowhere, which I now know are hives, um, but I'd never had hives before. Um, and nothing that we have figured out at all triggered this. Um, just, they look like welts all over my thighs, uh, back to my thighs, uh, which within 10 minutes uh, turned into, you know, these huge red welts that spread to my inner thighs, um, down my calves, on my arms, and <laughs> really freaked me out, you know, because there was no trigger at all. Um, I had just come home from a run, and um, I, I started getting uh, it started with actually my palms getting really itchy um, and on the run and then I came home and I'm like wow my palms are itchy and then when I was in the shower uh, the back of my thigh started uh, itching I'm like uh, I guess a mosquito bite because we're in South Texas you know it's been humid and raining like yeah, mosquitoes are out and then when I got out of the shower I looked in the mirror and these big red welts were there I'm like that's not good that's my husband uh, you look at this he's like that looks like an allergic reaction since it, it started spreading. Took a picture, 10 minutes later, it had spread. <laughs> uh, he's like, we gotta keep an eye on that. Another 10 minutes, it had started spreading around to my, like, uh, my inner thigh. And um, usually, you know, it's an allergic reaction. You would take, you know, Benadryl is your usual go-to. However, if you've been following my channel since I started it a few years ago, um, when I first developed epilepsy, uh, four years ago, here, I'll put a card up. You can go watch on my channel. Uh, when this started, Benadryl was one of my first triggers that I had figured out that, uh, started a tonic clonic or grand mal seizure. So I haven't taken a Benadryl in four years. And I was like, oh my God. Okay. So I'm either going to go into anaphylaxis or something like that from this allergic reaction. We don't know what caused or have a seizure. I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll take Benadryl, possibly have a seizure. Just make sure to film it, <laughs> get a good YouTube video out of it. So, uh, you know, popped a, a couple of Benadryl as it uh, stated on the directions and, uh, crossed our fingers and watched. And um, within an hour, the, the rash started to go away and no seizure, thankfully. But we were still kind of like, I don't know, I don't trust it. I don't trust it yet. Uh, the next day, I had another uh, seizure. Uh, but I'll go ahead and insert some video and some pictures. Okay, some of the pictures, I don't know how, how long I'm gonna have to crop some of these because it got, got kind of high up on my body. <laughs> So, sorry for any of the, uh, yeah, it was really freaky and really scary. So I didn't know what was going on, but here's some of the timelines of what was going on that first day. Possible uh, seizure coming. I just had to take a uh, two Benadryl for the first time in almost four years. Cause the last time I took it, I had a seizure, a tonic clonic seizure. So I took that as a trigger and haven't taken it since, but I just broke out and, and almost severe rash multiple places all over my body and we have no idea what caused it <laughs> but it keeps getting worse so just to be on the safe side uh i pop some benadryl uh and uh this video may never see the light of day if a seizure doesn't happen but if it does hey <laughs> okay now it's been over 30 minutes and it's getting worse it was like on the backs of my on one of my thighs, like on my buttock. And now it is spread around on both of my cheeks to my inner thighs and on my belly button. And we don't know what's going on. It's like warm to the touch. And uh, well, it had been spreading before the 30 minutes. Now the 30 minutes are up. My husband just went to pick up my other son from school. I don't feel bad. Nothing feels bad. This is very itchy. I don't even know if I can post photos where <laughs> what it looks like, but man, I'll see if I can do some very close up shots. <laughs>
pole, it's like a uh, swollen. It looks like welts almost. Uh, man, I hope this Benadryl kicks in. So far, it hasn't uh, seized me up or anything. But... Ow. Fingers crossed, guys. So the second day, uh, the, the rash came back again. Uh, this time, it was not after my run. It was after I had had a spoonful of peanut butter. And my husband was like, swear to God, woman, if you are allergic to peanut butter all of a sudden, we're gonna have to get a divorce because this household survives on peanut butter. I, I have peanut butter almost every single day, if not five days a week. I mean, this household runs on peanut butter, so it was gonna be a situation if I was all of a sudden allergic to peanut butter. <laughs> Ain't no way. Um, but yeah, so the, the welts were much less dramatic the second day. I'll insert a couple pictures here. Okay, it's 10.40 a.m. I just ate some peanut butter and jelly sandwich and my palm is itchy right here. And my butt is itchy and I just saw two red dots up here. I'm gonna take a picture real quick. See if it's the same as last night. That's the only thing that's different is now my thighs itchy. Maybe I'm just psyching myself out. Let me see. But yeah, so I took Benadryl again after that outbreak happened. Um, got the camera ready. <laughs> again, no seizure. So uh, I calmed down a little bit more after that. I was like, okay, because within 30 minutes to an hour that those hives went away and I got sleepy. Yeah, Benadryl still makes me sleepy. <laughs> it still works. I got to calm down and go to sleep. Uh, but so I don't know if the medications that I'm on now are counteracting the trigger at Benadryl or whatever, but I guess it can be off of my trigger list. The Benadryl is no longer a trigger, but it was weird that I always had that as a backup. Like if for whatever reason I needed to prove that I can have that not that I can, that I do have seizures. I can say, oh yeah, watch this. Let me pop a Benadryl and show you a seizure. <laughs> Why would I ever need to do that? But I always knew I needed to prove a seizure on the spot. I, I but no, so Benadryl won't do that for me anymore. Um, that's a good thing, that's a good thing. Um, but now I am still having those highs, those outbreaks. So I have gone to see my uh, PCP and he gave me a shot of steroids and then steroid prescription I took for a few days. Did not help, I'm still having those. So I'm taking Zyrtec daily. I switched off because I couldn't keep going to sleep in the middle of the day with uh, Minadryl. And I have a appointment with a dermatologist to figure out what the heck is going on next. Um, they're not as bad. They don't get as wealthy as those first pictures I showed you. I don't know what's going on. But again, that's off on a tangent. That's not what this video is about. This video is about that I am no longer having Benadryl as a seizure trigger. So, yay! <laughs> uh, that, that is the main important thing for this. So, uh, hope you guys found this entertaining and got some I don't know what these photos are gonna look like, PG-13? <laughs> Those educational purposes. <sighs> these hives are not fun. I'm having never had them before, ugh, not enjoyable at all. So I, I feel for anybody that's had to deal with them long-term. All right, guys, that's all I have for this week. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks.